Hi, this is the continuation of a series of videos designed to give individuals information that they can use to prepare for a visit to a physician's office. The videos are designed to help ensure that the individual can ask appropriate questions of the physician and to increase the likelihood that quality care is delivered. Sore throat is a common complaint seen in primary care offices. The soreness is usually continuous and may be aggravated by swallowing. It may accompany a common cold or upper respiratory infection. The major cause is usually viral. Strep throat is also a cause of sore throat and should always be considered. It is caused by a group A beta hemolytic streptococcus pyogenes. Sore throat may also present in mononucleosis. It is caused by a virus called the Epstein-Barr virus. A yeast called Candida can also present with a sore throat. It might be a result of an undiagnosed diabetes disorder or HIV. A sore throat in a child between the ages of two to four can be caused by a bacteria called Haemophilus influenza. It can cause an epiglottitis, an inflammation of the epiglottis that can result in extreme difficulty breathing. This can be a medical emergency. Some blood disorders, such as leukemia, may present with a sore throat. So, many things must be considered when evaluating a sore throat. The physician will want to know if the soreness is just in the throat. Is there accompanying neck pain? Any other pain, such as ear pain? Is there a runny nose? Is there nasal stuffiness? Is there or has there been a cough? Has the patient been overly tired or sleeping more lately? Is the patient weak? If so, how weak? Is the patient an asthmatic? If yes, does he or she use steroid inhalers? Does the patient smoke? Or is the patient exposed to secondary tobacco at home or work? Does the patient have epigastric pain? That is, does the patient have upper stomach pain? Does the patient have reflux of gastric contents? The physician will inspect the oral cavity and pharynx looking for exudates, ulcerations, or a mass. The physician will inspect the uvula, soft palate, and tonsils to see if they are red, swollen, and covered by an exudate. Small patches of a whitish-yellow exudate on the palate, pharynx, and tongue may indicate candida. Red and swollen tonsil areas with exudate may indicate a strep throat. Red and swollen tonsils with an exudate and a red and swollen uvula may indicate mononucleosis. The physician may take a throat swab for culture or for a rapid strep test to rule out strep throat. Blood may also be taken for a mononucleosis test, a white blood cell count, a hemoglobin level, and a blood sugar level. In the next video, we will discuss strep throat, viral causes of sore throat, and candida sore throat in more detail. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.